Welcome to my channel, Cheryl's Designs. Today's project is a snowman tea light with a gift box. The Cricut Design Space file is shared in the description box under this video. When you open in Design Space, first you see the parts of the project. Then when you click Make It, you will see there are six mats. That's the acetate, the base of the box and the lid, and the decorative pieces that go on the outside of the box. Now we're ready to cut. I won't make you sit through all the cutting, just a little to give you an idea what the Cricut does. Here it's going to be cutting out the face of the snowman and all those little circles. Now we're going to move on to the box and the lid. It's scoring now. That's the score tool that's inside the machine and it's scoring all the little lines to make it easier when we get ready to fold our box. Once it's finished scoring, it's going to prompt me to take out the scoring tool and put in a pin, a Cricut pin. I'm using red. And now it's going to write on the gift tag. When I created this file, I decided that the little window that I cut out of the top of the box would make a really cute tag. So that's why it's writing um, on that part. I just wanted to give you an idea of what the Cricut can do, the scoring, the writing, the cutting. It's pretty amazing. I have um, an Explore Air and also the Maker. I'm using the Maker right now in this video. It's almost done. This is the lid that it's cutting out. I used a really heavy um, craft board, the Cricut craft board. It's really thick, so it's cutting everything twice just to make sure that it gets a nice clean cut. Now it's cutting off that little window with the acetate person at the top of the box. In the lid, I guess I should say. Now I'm going to Remove everything from the mat, and it's easier sometimes to turn it over, pull the mat off the paper instead of the paper off the mat. Um, if you pull the paper off the mat, sometimes it makes the paper curl, and it's much more difficult to deal with. So I just flip it over, 
pull the mat off and that seems to work for me. Let's go ahead and fold all of the scored lines. And get it ready for assembly. I won't make you watch all of that. Just like that. And the lid. We're ready to glue. First thing I'm going to do while it's still flat is use my art glitter glue, which is my preferred glue, wet glue, to put on the decorative pieces on the base of the box. Then we're going to start gluing the little flaps on each end. And just fold up in there. It couldn't be any easier. And the nice thing about the art glitter glue is it holds really quickly so you don't have to sit there and hold the wet paper waiting for it to dry. If it grabs it and holds on to it. It's going to hold on to the acetate as well. It's, you can also use a double stick tape if you'd rather. I just went ahead and used the glue. Just going to assemble the lid. Get the box done. Let's go back to our snowman. And I'm going to glue the, his face onto that black disc. And that'll be the coal for his eyes and his mouth. Before I put his face onto the tea light, I wanted to color the little candlelight orange. It doesn't make any difference when it's on. It's, it looks exactly the same whether it's colored or not colored. But when the tea light's off, it looks more like a carrot if you color it orange. So that's what I did. And now I can glue the little face on. I turn the nose so it looks right to me. I'm going to color this little cheeks pink. I could have cut little pink circles with the Cricut, but for, I don't know. I just like coloring them in better. Now we're going to assemble this little hat. I'm going to 
use this red twine. And a little piece of double stick tape. This is score tape and it's really easy to use because it just tears. And you tear off how much you need. Pull off the little backing paper. And this will help hold that in place while I adhere it together with glue. of the little hat to the back and we're going to hide our string on the inside. And I want to put this little white circle up at the top where some hats have a little pom-pom or you know, something up there. And I had wanted to put a little pom-pom up there, but I didn't have one the right size. They were either too big or too small. But I had a snow marker, and it's a really cool little marker. You shake it really well, and then you put a little bit where you want it and then you take a heat tool and you get it hot and it puffs up and it looks like snow and here I'm kind of hoping it looks like a pom-pom uh, just be careful that once it's puffed you don't keep heating it because it will burn it'll scorch and it'll turn brown uh, so you, you stop once it's done now I'm going to take a wink of Stella in the clear and I'm going to just color over his entire face to give it a shimmer, a glittery shimmer but there's no glitter, nothing's going to rub off on you or make a mess it just kind of looks like snow and as you can see that the alcohol markers, the Copet markers do not interact with the wink of Stella at all so you can just color right over the top of it. And I couldn't get the shine to show, so here's just a picture so you can kind of see how it's glittery. It's really pretty. I'm going to use a white gel pen and put a little sparkle in his eye. And then I'm taking a black fine point Cricut pen and I'm making a little line to just kind of break up the, the hat so that it looks like a, it's got a little brim or something on it. And now we're ready to glue this hat on. Still making mistakes. Right. Let's finish. I'll go back to the lid of the box and put a little trim on there. This is some um, gold scalloped washi tape. I don't have any idea where I got it or what brand it is. I tried to find some online and wasn't able to. When I'm adhering this, I'm pulling it up and over past the edge and making it kind of uh, taut so that it doesn't um, have any wrinkles or air bubbles in it. 
and just smooth it down. Okay, there's our box. Now we, our snowman needs a scarf. And I'm going to be using about 13 inches of this green ribbon. I'm also going to go ahead and use some of the score tape around the tea light. It makes it a whole lot easier for me to work with the ribbon. It just gives it enough of a hold. Peel off the backing. Then I put the ribbon on. And it'll hold it for me so that I can tie it underneath. I put it all straight. And I'm going to come down right underneath the bottom and I'm going to tie a square knot. Little tails. And that's ready. Now we're ready to finish our gift. We're going to put some tissue in the box or some shred or whatever you want to put in there to make it pretty. Put our little snowman inside. And we're going to use this red ribbon. Now, I cut mine at 19 and a half inches, and I think it was a little short. So you may want to go 20 inches or a little longer on that red ribbon. And I added the tag, and I'm just going to bring it up and around and tie it in a bow. I'm going to use my reverse tweezers to help me tie this bag. And this will just slide on and off so that you can get back in the box if you need to. Gift tag. That's just so cute. And here's one all lit up. So you can see what it looks like once you turn it on. Thanks for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And I hope you'll come back and see me for my next video. Bye.